TZ, man, it's your boy, too. Tall Bishop Jones, and you know what the mm, mm, man, you know what's going on, man. And y'all know once y'all see me on the bop, y'all know it's a story time. So go ahead, get your popcorn ready, roll your blunt up, you feel me? Get your glass of wine and your shot, and kick back and relax, baby. You with the tallest one. Why well, wait? Hungry eat a snicker. <laughs> Message. I mean, snicker, send that money over. I just promo y'all. Anyway, y'all, it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. I mean, in West Baltimore. It's beautiful to me. And today's story time is the day the feds kicked in my door. <sighs> so, first of all, it had the wrong man. That one ain't me. Like, no, on a serious note. So, a lot of things was going on that week that I got my house ran in. So, like, if the feds ran in my house, they ran in my house on, like, a Wednesday. That Tuesday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, and Friday, yo, that shit was crazy. So, the feds just was like a cherry on top of my week. I never forget this day, right? I was so high out my mind off of lean. I had the codeine, and it was the first time I ever smoked moon rock. If you know what moon rocks is, y'all know that shit is some gas. First time I ever smoked moon rock, I never forget it. The first time it was the last time. I haven't ran into no real moon rock like that since. So at this time, like I said, I'm in the streets. I was a street dude, so but I had rules, so I always used to be in the house by a certain time. At the time, I was with my daughter, mother, so I go in the crib, I'm high out my mind, yo. I'm just rolling up blunts, and I'm just drinking lean. So it get down to the end of the night, like 12, I roll up the moon rock. I rolled two blunts of the moon rock. I didn't spark them, I just set them down on the side of the bed, and I continue smoking the, the grass that I had, and you know, chilling with my daughter, mother, we just chilling. So she go to sleep. I'm up just, you know, enjoying myself, watching TV. Eventually I nod off. Now I'm dozing off the lane. I don't know what's going on. I'm half asleep, half woke. I'm just dozed off. So all of a sudden, I just feel my daughter, mother just shaking me. So when she's shaking me, she just shaking the shit out of me. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck, what the fuck going on? I'm like, what? I just hear boom, 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 like somebody kicking down my door. So my first instincts was to, you know, grab my weapon. So I go to grab my weapon and my daughter mother, like looking out the window, she like, oh shit, that's the police. So I'm like, what? I look out the window, yo, no exaggeration. It was at least like a half a mile Work for police cars and trucks and SWAT and all this shit, FBI's. And I'm looking outside, I just see nothing but black cars and black trucks blocking the entire street all the way down to the next light. All I'm got that lights on. So I hear them running up the steps talking about federal marshals, marshals, marshals. They saying this, but I'm not paying attention that they saying marshals. So me knowing how the police is, I'm a young black male. I'm out here in the streets doing my thing. They're here for a reason. All right, cool. I get down, I tell my uh, daughter mother, like, look, you sit down on the bed. They, I can hear him coming up my steps. There's like two flights of steps. I can hear him coming up. Police, police, we got the dugs, all that. So I get on my knees and I just hold my hands behind my head. And I hold my hands behind my head. And I'm like this the whole time. I hear him coming in, no exaggerations. Yo, this, whatever officer this was, kicked my door down like a fucking Mortal Kombat person. Yo, did like a tuck and roll. And when he came out the, the front flip, he was kicking the door. Boom, my door just shattered. Boom. So I'm like, oh shit. He come down with the gun. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, don't shoot, don't shoot. I ain't got no gun. I have my hands behind my head. They like, uh, they say suspect, suspect actually handed or whatever the fuck. They say they got me. So I'm like, what the fuck going on? All of a sudden, a bunch of police just start running in. So 
he uh, put the cuffs on me. He stand me up. So I stand up and I'm just, uh, he like, you got the right main size, this and that, this and that. So they like, you good and all that? Cause he kind of roughed me up a little bit. I'm like, yeah, I'm good, man. Like, I'm like, I ain't got shit, man. I ain't got shit on me. I ain't know what they was doing. So I was just like, listen, man, I ain't got shit on me. I got some little bit of weed right here and some lean. That's it, bro. Nothing else in here. So my, like I said, my daughter, mother, she all crying and stuff. I'm like, relax, yo. This is my exact words. I said, relax, yo. I said, uh, I said, uh, I said, go, go grab some money and pay the bill and I'll be out by the morning. Yo, why the fucking police tap me on my shoulder and just start dying laughing? So I'm looking at him like, what the fuck is you laughing for? So yo say, sorry, brother, but we the feds. Ain't no such thing as bail. You know that meme that say he needs some milk. That's how I felt. I'm like the feds. He like, yeah, this we the big boys. So I'm like, what the fuck? Then I almost wanted to cry when he said that shit. So I'm like, maybe this got to be a mistake or something like that. So they take me down to the little station and all that. As soon as they take me to the station, it's like a bunch of cells lined up right there in the front part. I just see all my homeboys. I'm like, oh my God. All of them just shaking their head, looking at me like, damn. So I find out while I'm at the station that they ran in my house. They ran in my two sisters' houses. They ran in my mother's house and they also ran in my grandmother's house. So they found drugs here and there. It wasn't nothing too big for real. So I'm like, all right, cool. But what the fuck is going on? Later on down the line, a few years and shit, I find out that the feds been watching us for a couple months. We was doing our thing a little bit too hard and they had to pretty much shut it down. But that's how it was for them capturing me. It was like a movie, yo. When I say it was like a movie, it was like a fucking movie. I'm coming outside, the whole neighborhood just staring like, what the fuck going on? I couldn't believe how many black sedans and stuff was out there, how many sheriffs and stuff. Like, it was so many FBI agents and shit, just like the whole street. I'm like, yo, all this for me? He like, yep. I'm like, yo, what the fuck did I do? Like, he like, you doing too much or whatever you doing? And I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. So I end up, you know, going through that shit, man. But that's how they got your boy, man. They caught me high, man. I'll tell you what, I don't, I don't regret being high, though. Because that was the, one of the best highs I ever had in my life. I was so gone off of that lane and that grass. I was mad that I didn't get to smoke my moon rock. But going straight from getting money into the prison cells is a hell of a, hell of a experience. So... I'm happy that I was high enough to just be like, you know what, I deal with this shit when I wake up in the morning. And when I woke up in the morning and I sell that shit, hit me like a rock. I'm like, bro, my life is over. But I tell you about the rest of that shit a little bit later down the line. You know what I mean? Till then, y'all make sure y'all subscribe, comment, share that shit. Peace out.